another day, another layout for my little town here. <laughs> I, uh, I've been pulling around with archers lately, you know, just to see what would happen. And um, I have a replay I want to show you, but first let's go in for a live attack just to kind of show you my new, uh, my new technique. Pretty sure they'd kill me pretty easily, so let's find another one. Um... It's not awful. I like because uh, I'm using archers. I like to have all the good stuff, kind of, kind of close to the edge, where archers can get at them easily. Um, let's see, available loot, thirty-seven thousand. Yeah, let's try to find more. Try to find a little bit more than that. Forty-three. Well, that is a little bit more than that, isn't it? Man, everybody's as broke as I am on this game, <laughs> right? Let me just, uh, 58, eh. it's not ideal, but we'll go for it. Uh, I want to go ahead and drop a uh, lightning. Where's a good place to stick a lightning? I don't know. How about mortars like to wreak havoc on my archers? So let's stick them. What I've been doing is basically taking my archers, right, and just wrapping them around the city till I run out of archers. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, kind of a cheesy strategy, but it does seem to be does seem to be working. Very rarely do I get a hundred percent doing it this way, but um, very rarely do I actually lose a battle anymore either. So it does seem to be worth it. Let's give these folks. Now these folks, who's who's being pummeled the most? Give them a healing. Heal. Stay well, my minions. <laughs> I'm going to send in uh, some of my clan troops, too. More archers. I don't remember if I have any um, wizards in the mix. No, it's just archers. But uh, I'm already 53%, and I've taken out all of their... Um, uh, elixir pumps and um, I, I estimate it cost about 17,000 uh, elixir to make all of those troops so you know not only did I not lose I actually gained so um, I made about you know take the loss in the troops um, a little over uh, a little over 10,000 elixir plus all the money and uh, six um, trophies. So, you know, it was worth it. It was worth it. Uh, even though it's only 55%, um, the troops are very, very cheap. I, uh, you know, I didn't lose anything and I gained six trophies. So, you know, it's kind of like if, if you're going after trophies, this is not the way to do it because <laughs> it'll take forever. But I just thought that was kind of interesting that, um, you know, I can do that with archers. I actually did get a hundred percent battle like yesterday just using archers which was amazing um, yeah here it is I did, did have one loss oh there's another loss this was this was before I decided to change the troops to archers I was losing a lot and I was like you know what I'm gonna change tactics then I changed tactics I think I've only lost one battle since I've been using just archers but that's interesting in it let's go for the replay see what a hundred percent archers look like interesting stuff I think so anyway of course it's a very small village but um, you know the uh, elixir is what I was going for and that's on the outside so it really doesn't matter if it's a big village or a small village if the elixir is on the outside and you're um, ahead of the game by stealing more than you lose in troops, then it's worth it. So um, I figure why not go for it, even if it's small like this is. Uh, there's a couple bigger ones. In fact, let me do the replay really fast for you guys. Done. Okay, return home. Let's go. Uh, there was a bigger town that I raided just like that that was the loss but um, 
I still I, I still made money. I, I made look at the loss is still a win. I mean, two hundred over two hundred thousand <coughs> coins and thirty one thousand elixir cost me about seventeen elixir to make all those troops. Or oh no, this is defense log. I'm so full of crap. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Anyway, doesn't matter. Here here I am. Oh, yeah, see, this loss was an actual loss. Yeah, that's a bummer. Let's see. Um, where's the one that I want a lot of stuff in? 62 is kind of a lot. Let's look and see at this replay. I only got five trophies. That's the thing, though. If you don't get 100%, they, they really take you to the bank on the trophies. You don't really make much. But see, all this guy, he's got all of his pumps are full. Okay, even though the elixir containers themselves are empty, the pumps are full. So I went after the pumps, you know, because, I mean, I take out all those pumps. Look at all of that elixir. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be ahead of the game whether I win this battle or not. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I won it, so that was kind of awesome. But that's just kind of a tactic, um, interesting tactic. So it was a total win. And then I decided what to hay. You know, I was there, so <clears throat> I sent in the uh, uh, the clan troops, which I really didn't need to do because I already kind of had this this battle and took everything I needed. But um, just decided to give them an extra little whack. <laughs> so, if you have any interesting tactics yourself that you use, um, feel free to go ahead and let me know because I think that's interesting as heck. Let's just look at another random one. <clears throat> I got 17 trophies out of this one. That's interesting. Oh, no, that's defense. My defense has actually been doing pretty good lately. It's not bad. Oh, I could show you my defense, couldn't I? Yeah. What I've done is I have four entrances. Now, you know, a lot of the enemy troops will always go towards an entrance rather than breaking down a wall. And I have two traps at every entrance. I have a um, a spring trap and a bomb. So they're they're getting sprung and blown up, you know, on the way in. In fact, let me show you a defensive battle. While we're talking about this, um, this was a win. This guy should have won because he's got a ton of troops here. He's even got a healer, two heal spells, and. Uh, well, he almost had it, 46%. But let's go ahead and replay this. Let's just see what happens. See how my defense holds up. Boom! You see I had that huge bomb right over there. Kind of luring people in this way because, you know, there's a lot of... Uh, they figure they're going to come in here and get loot and instead they get blown up. And then I have a cannon here waiting for them. That's actually pretty effective, trying to lure people in. Let's go to four times. And then basically I've killed off his good stuff and he's just, you know, waiting for me to kill off the small stuff. That healer sure is effective though, isn't it? That healer did a great job. Wasn't my healer, but their healer did a pretty great job. Um, let's go over to the dark, uh, I guess the nighttime map. Um... I just I just upgraded my builder hall, okay, which means <clears throat> I'm kind of a wimp right now. So I've been losing a lot of battles, which is kind of a bummer. But you know, you kind of have to lose lose some battles in order to build yourself up and build yourself up, and then you know upgrade everything. And once ever everything is upgraded, you're winning battles. But then you have to upgrade your town hall again, and you're in a lower level, and you lose again. So it's Kind of uh, like a yo-yo, you know, up and down. <laughs> Let's attack and see what goes on here. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and circle them and see what happens. That's a tactic that uh, works pretty well a lot. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Maybe I'll be smashed. My, uh, my archers on this map are level 8, which is pretty good, I think. And uh, we're already over 50%, which is decent. Um, nine times out of ten, if you can get over 60%, you're probably going to win. Um, most people... 
Well, that's what I get for rambling on. My recording software was like, no, 10 minutes, we can't let you go over that, heaven forbid. And it, it just stopped working on me. So I'm like, ah, well, it's better than nothing. I'm actually, Bandicam is, is a pretty good uh, software. And um, it works pretty good. So what the hey, it's free, you know. Research, let's see if I can afford to research anything. Um, actually, before I do that, let me look. I can't really afford to do that yet. I'd like to, I'd like to upgrade so I can get some more stuff, but, um, upgrading's a double-edged sword, because sometimes if you upgrade too soon, and you don't upgrade your, uh, your cannons or your, your soldiers and things like that, you could have a really high-level town hall and really, 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 uh, wimpy town, which is kind of a bummer, man. So you gotta kind of find the, uh, happy medium in there somewhere. Yeah, so I'm not going to be attacking anybody for for a little while because I just got the uh, the money there. Um, so let's go back over to the town. We're not ready to uh, attack anybody yet, but you see my um, basic basic idea with the uh, with the attacking. Um, let me just show you another one. I got. Did I show you this one yet? I don't remember. Don't remember what I showed you guys. <laughs> but uh, I just do another example. Click on um, this one here. Why not? What I did. See, their uh, elixir is all on the outside. So you know, and they're they're little dome things were empty so it's like you may as well just go after the elixir it wouldn't matter if I won this battle or not because I'd still be ahead of the game with elixir you know what I'm saying uh, it's kind of a backwards way of thinking but if, if you try to win every battle you're just gonna drive yourself nuts you know and a lot of this game is about you know getting getting elixir and getting the stuff rather than actually winning you know course I did win this one not by much but um, oh guys you still got a thing of elixir out there go get it get it they're not gonna get it but you see what I mean it's not a bad haul I gained 37,000 elixir you know like I said it cost me 17 so I'm 20 ahead of the game you know what I mean awesome anyway let me know what you think thanks for watching you have an absolutely wonderful day I'll see you all on the flip side and um, I guess I'm out. All right. Hello. Thanks for watching. If you don't mind, if you could like and subscribe, that would be lovely. Thank you and have a nice day.